Hey everyone, Mandy Lee here. We are always excited when we get to tour a new model camper from NewKip. And today we're getting early access to the much anticipated Tab 360. We know there has been a lot of hype around the new Tab 360 and we can't wait to get a look at it. So let's not waste any more time and go take a look at this impressive looking camper. As I like to do with most of my tours, I'm gonna to start by walking around the exterior of the camper. As New Camp has been doing lately, the Boondock Edition is gonna be the standard edition that you'll find on most dealer lots. Now what that's gonna include is gonna be the wheels, the all-terrain tire, the pitched axle, the fenders, the Boondock handle, and the Boondock step. And while I'm talking about tires, these units all come standard with electric brakes. On the door side of the camper, the only other thing to point out is that there are two 110 outlets, which is very convenient if you have appliances and things to plug in. And just under the 110 plug in the back, there is also a quick connect for your propane tank. And like all new camp products, the Tab 360 will have the Keter rail on the outside, allowing you to attach awnings and other accessories. Moving around the back of the camper, We'll see we still have the uh, handles, which help with maneuverability if you wanna push the camper around. And then as you look up on the roof of the camper, you can see the two long skinny solar panels. In this standard version, the camper is gonna come with 180 watts of solar on every unit. Moving around to the uh, driver's side or non-door side of the unit, the first thing we'll come across is the Nautilus water management system, which New Camp has been using for a few years now. This is a great system that really simplifies doing everything you need to do with water. Filling up your tank, hooking up to city water, winterizing. You'll also find in here tank heaters for your fresh and your gray tanks, along with your satellite and cable hookups. It includes a switch to turn your water pump on and off from the outside. It also has an external shower with both hot and cold water. There is a port where you can plug in external solar panels. Next to that, we're gonna have our standard 30 amp plug-in. And then here we have access to our five gallon cassette toilet. This is a great little toilet because it's easy to remove. It's got wheels on the bottom and a handle that pulls up, making it really easy to transport if you want to dump without having to move your camper. All right, now I wanna show you guys something really cool. On the front end of the camper, we now have this giant extra large diamond plated tongue storage box. And it has some really cool features. Some of my favorite features about this new tongue box are that with this space back here that's normally kind of wasted, they've added a long skinny storage, which you could use for a lot of things. But first thing that comes to mind to me is a sewer hose. It does have access from both sides of the camper. Then moving up to the smaller door, it gives you direct access to the area where the propane tank is going to be stored. This will allow you to easily turn your propane tank on and off without having to access it through the top of the bin. Now, as we go to open it up, you'll notice there is now the option to lock your handle and a latch. When you open it up, you'll notice there is still that hydraulic lift that'll hold the lid up. And of course, 8.4 cubic feet of storage. That's huge, which is totally awesome. And they've divided it so that there is a spot for your propane tank to easily sit. Plenty of room and it's absolutely gorgeous. And I have some really exciting news. This new tongue box can be retrofitted to fit any of the 2024 year models. Tag 320, 400, this is gonna be available for you. All right, now that we're done looking at the exterior, who wants to go inside? Me. All right, first thing we gotta talk about is this amazing door. You will notice there is now a locking keypad, which we have all wanted for a really long time because who doesn't lose their keys and forget how to get back in? So number one, we've got the locking keypad. When you open it, now remember this is a prototype, there is going to be the standard storage boxes that we see in the 320 and the 400 with the trash can and the extra shelving. Now, this door, many of you are gonna wonder, can I get that? And the answer is if you have a tab 400, Yes, you can buy this door that's gonna have that locking keypad. All right, let's go in. All right, now my first impression walking into this camper is just how bright and spacious it is. 
There is a huge window on every wall of the camper. The floor plan is very easy and open, and there is eight extra inches of headroom compared to the Tab 320, which for most of you tall folks is gonna make a huge difference. All right, there's about a nine or 10 inch height difference between Mandy and I. That just depends on which one of us you ask. Here I am standing at the kitchen where I would be if I was cooking, and now I'll walk back towards the back where the camper gets shorter. So I can stand upright pretty much all the way throughout the length of the camper. Now let's take a look at this pretty innovative kitchen. The biggest new feature you're gonna see, and by big, I mean big, this is a five cubic foot 12 volt compressor refrigerator. It is to date the largest fridge that New Camp has put in any of their teardrops. I love that it is tall and skinny and stands up. At the very bottom, there's drawers, so there's no more crawling on the floor to try to get your food out. Above the refrigerator is a nice storage cabinet. And then we move into the cooking space. New Camp has come up with an innovative design of putting both the sink and the two burner propane stove under a glass top so that when it's not in use, it makes a great counter space. Underneath the sink and stove, you will see that they have plenty of compartmentalized cabinets and drawers rather than one open storage space that you have to deal with. And of course, all of this is underneath a large skylight window so that when you're cooking, you can look outside and enjoy the view. All right, moving into the bathroom. Now, the bathroom in the 360 mirrors the bathroom in the 320, but with lots more headroom. So at the highest point, it is 73 inches. At the middle point, it is 66 inches. And at the lowest point, it is 56 inches, which is plenty tall for me. This is gonna be the traditional wet bath that we've seen in the 320. It's got the cassette toilet. It's got a sink back behind the toilet. And then of course, the nozzle for the sink also comes up and acts as your wet bath shower. Here I am again for a size comparison. In the 320, I cannot even dream of standing upright, but in this one, I'm standing fully upright and my head just barely touches the ceiling. I can even lean over to wash my hands and everything's fine and dandy. So moving into the living space, the first thing is it's just really comfortable. I wouldn't mind sitting down and putting in an eight hour workday. I wouldn't mind being stuck in here on a rainy day and I wouldn't mind hanging out in here all night. The dinette is spacious enough to really comfortably see two adults and you can use the bed over here as extra daytime seating as well. As with many of their units, there's a 24 inch TV mounted in the corner, but the good thing about this one, it's gonna come with a smart TV. Right beneath the TV, you will see a media center, which is gonna control your radio and also have USB and HDMI hookups. The media center and the TV are also connected to two speakers, which in this space is gonna make it sound really nice. Let's talk outlets, because that is one thing I never seem to have enough of, but I would not have that problem here. There are 110 outlets located on the side of the dinette, behind the dinette, behind the television. There is also a USB-A and USB-C outlet located in the dinette and also two next to the bed, which is like where we all need to charge stuff at night. In the kitchen, there's another 110, more USB and a 12 volt outlet. So the outlet situation is on point. One of my other favorite things New Camp has always done is been really innovative with their lighting. They always try to have accent lighting that just makes it feel really nice in the space. And they've done great here. You've got accent lighting under the cabinets. You've got accent lighting behind the dinette and bed on that shelf. You've got accent lighting in the kitchen. It's not like just walking in and turning on one bright light. You have all these nice lighting elements. So a lot of new camp owners have been asking for a north to south twin bed setup. As one of the most anticipated changes, that's what new camp decided to do with the 360. Now what I'm sitting on is the full-time twin bed, which also doubles as additional seating during the day. And the dinette is gonna fold down into another twin bed that's almost exactly the same size. Now the dinette is gonna fold down in much the same way as the tab 400 table folds down. So I'm gonna show you that really quick.
I won't lie. That's actually pretty smooth. The only downside to this bed setup is that there is currently no built-in way to make the two beds one big bed. That would have to be a do-it-yourself mod. I really want to talk about storage. So I feel like the 360 has the most storage of any of the teardrops that New Camp has made so far, which is really exciting. First, they've utilized all of the obvious spaces. We've got large overhead cabinets above the bed and the dinette. We've got the obvious cabinets above the fridge, throughout the kitchen. We've got sliding storage in the headboard next to the bed. And of course, a drawer in the nightstand between the two beds. But one thing I think New Camp has really nailed with the 360 is utilizing those really tiny, awkward spaces that we all wish we could use. So they've included a lot of smaller drawers and compartments using spaces that we usually have to do it yourself to use. They've also given us easier access to some of the under the seat storage via drawers instead of having to lift up the seats. Some other small spots that we wouldn't even think of is a little cabinet under the television, a little drawer under the media center, and behind the dinette, there's this skinny space that they went ahead and decided to make that a cabinet as well. And under that, there is an open space, which would be perfect for storing something like shoes. Under the sink, there's a drawer that they've even shaped to go around the sink to use every little bit of space. Long story short, I always find myself wanting a little bit more storage and the Tab 360 delivers. Okay, here we are at our central command station. Now remember, this is a prototype unit and one of the changes they are going to make is all of our controls here are not gonna be on the side of the cabinet. They're actually gonna be moved over here next to the side of the door. That's gonna actually give us more space in the cabinet that, it, that they're on. As we've seen in the other teardrops, we have the control panel that shows us the gray and fresh water level indicators. Our water pump is on here. There's the switch for our porch light and the two different sets of accent lights. Now, if you end up getting the black canyon package, you also get the red underglow lights and that's gonna be this switch right here. As with most of the units as well, there's going to be a central air conditioner. There's several vents throughout that you can adjust. And there's a brand new Alda 3030 heating and hot water system. So that's gonna control the heat in the cabin. And for the first time ever, it's gonna give us built-in continuous hot water. Now, let's talk specs. So remember, this is a prototype unit and all of these numbers are subject to change. But currently, the Tab 360 sits right between the 320 and the 400. Currently, the dry weight is sitting at 2,600 pounds with a dry tongue weight of 295 pounds. The wet weight is 2,850. The external dimensions, the length is 16 foot, eight inches. The width is seven foot, four inches. And the height is eight foot, nine inches. The internal dimensions, the length is 11 foot, three inches. The width is six foot, eight inches. And the max height on the inside is six foot, four inches. Now for those bed sizes, the main bed is 80 inches by 31 inches. And the second bed is 79 inches by 31 inches. And for the tank sizes, the freshwater tank is 28 gallons. The gray water tank is 18 gallons. And that cassette toilet is gonna be a five gallon cassette. So like I said before, the boondock package is going to be considered the standard package you'll find on most dealer lots. Now, if you prefer the more classic look of the tabs, you can exchange the off-road tires, the pitched axle, the handle, and the steps for the more classic looking versions. Now, if you do get the boondock edition, one of the packages you can add is the Black Canyon package. What this is going to do is upgrade your solar to two 190 watt panels, you're gonna get the fresh and gray water tank heaters, and you're gonna get the red underglow lights. And finally, with any of the packages, you can also upgrade your lithium. Standard, everything is gonna come with one 100 amp hour Battleborn lithium battery and a smart shunt. If you get the lithium upgrade, it's gonna upgrade that battery to a 270 amp hour battery, and you're gonna get a 3000 watt multi plus inverter charger, which is going to allow you to run those 110 outlets even when you're not plugged into short power. And finally, let's talk price. So again, I'm gonna remind you this is a prototype and this number is always subject to change, but the initial numbers we're seeing is that the standard version of the Tab 360 is gonna have an MSRP 
just under 44,000. We hope you all enjoyed the sneak peek of the new Tab 360 by NewCamp. See the description below for links to a lot of this information. And please, if you enjoy our content, like this video and subscribe to our channel. So here's to welcoming a new member to the new camp family. Love and light. For a new model of camper from new camp. Okay, to tour a new model camper. The sneak peek of the new tab 